Hi guys, welcome to a, a special video in the joint series where I'm not actually going to be making a joint uh, but it's on preparation for making the secret mitre dovetail or fully blind dovetail and when we're making that joint we need to mark out the dovetails but we can't use the standard marking gauges which have got fences on them so I'm going to be preparing this little marking gauge which will do everything we need and more. I've taken a piece of copper and I've prepared a straight edge along one side. I've just done that using a file to create the straight edge and then smoothed it with some fine sandpaper. Now I need to mark out. I need to mark out for the box joint using a tri-square and a utility knife, scoring as deeply as I can. Then use a pair of tin snips to cut just to the waist side of that line. That won't be perfect because of the method of cutting it, but it'll be pretty close. When we've cleaned it up with a file, it'll be spot on. I hold the plate off the bench top with a little block, and then I can work the file. Quite easily. Smooth that cut down and just bring it right up to square. Once I'm happy that it's perfectly square, I'll just rub off any burrs on some fine sandpaper. To mark out for the dovetail, the first thing I do is put a square line in measure that, I'm going to do a dovetail of 1 in 7 so if I measure up there I've got 35 millimeters and then if I offset a seventh of that which is five mil and join those two points together can see that gives me a 1 in 7 slope and as before I'm going to score that before cutting it with the tin snips if you don't have tin snips you can score nice and deeply preferably both sides and then uh, using a pair of pliers you can fatigue the metal by bending it backwards and forwards on that score line until it breaks off
that's gone a little way away from my line so I'm going to have to work on that a bit but I've got the score line there that I can see and work towards with the file the important point here is that line is straight I've got a slight bump in there so I need to work it a little bit more I'm taking stop filings scrapings really with the end of the file through the middle to take that bump out filing such a short piece as this it's very easy to round over the ends and create create a bump And that's looking pretty good. I'll just clean the burrs off with some fine paper. For marking the end of a secret mitre dovetail, we can use the square end to mark where the mitre cut's going to be and we can use the dovetail end to mark the inside of the pins on both sides and we've got a good reference surface for both of those markings so in that respect the guide's finished but I've only got a 1 in 7 angle and very occasionally I might want to do a different angle so with these two faces that I have I can actually put two more angles on and I think that would be worthwhile. So working off the, the dovetail edge I'll mark a line, mark a square line down and this time I'm going to do a 1 in 6 So it would be handy to have um, 30 along that line. And then mark off 5 again from the baseline. Join those up. and score them at the other end I'm going to use the what was the square marking line as a reference for a 1 in 5 so mark a perpendicular line this time I want to measure up 25 and across 5 from the baseline and join those up And here's the finished gauge. I've cleaned it up a bit and I've marked on it the ratios 1 to 1 here for the right angle, 7 to 1 for the steep dovetail, 6 to 1 and 5 to 1. And I've done the same on the back. And this little gauge is going to come in very handy for marking up in some of the joint videos um, in the joint series that will be coming up soon. Thanks for watching. 